Hi guys, welcome back to my channel um, on Metrolizol Toxicity. I wanted to go over the supplements that I've been taking for the last year and a half since the toxicity, um, the ones that have helped so far, and the symptoms that I still have. So right now I still have um, vestibular migraines and I will still get heart palpitations. And those are two of my biggest symptoms. But what has been helping lately is taking althymine. Al althymine it is made out of garlic. So it's like a really potent vitamin B1 supplement. So what you do is you start on vitamin B1 HCL. Then you do bentothymine. And then you can eventually get onto these. But you have to build up b1 in your system or you're gonna get like a refeeding syndrome because of metrolizol toxicity and its effects on b1 so it's like medically induced b1 deficiency this i can actually um t like i can take this and not get heart palpitations anymore well i had to take more bentothymine and i'd still get heart palpitations if i ate carbs this i can get away with more carbs not like i eat carbs every day um, because I don't want to keep triggering heart palpitations and keep wasting my B1. So it's almost like I have POTS because I would get heart palpitations while sitting and then chronic dehydration, electrolytes all the time. I still drink potassium every day and I take magnesium. I just started this. This seems to be working fine. It's ionic magnesium. I've been taking my magnesium glycinate which works just as well I get up to 200 to 300 a day um, choline has been helpful I don't have any reactions to choline so this has just been nice I got the seeking health brand and it's optimal PC it has choline in it iodine has been helpful um, in getting rid of the brain fog um, you're going to need um, methylfolate and if you can't take B12 anymore like the methyl B12 you might want to do hydroxy B12 or adenozo B12 because those are the only two that I can take these are drops they're more effective than just um, regular B12 this is a deno like a deno cobalamin so this is a little like it's a tablet this will be a little more um, potent because it's like like drops and then I found that nice and kind of helped get the B12 to work um, but the folate mostly gets the B12 to work I don't need um, the other B vitamins as much as I need the B12 folate and B1 of course you want to take B2 I had to take them individually because I cannot take B6 without it injuring the, like flaming up the nerves that are, have already got injured from the toxicity. NAC, I have a hard time kind of tolerating it. I think it's like a sulfur issue, but it kind of helps too. I don't really take it. The ones that I take mostly is the B1 folate, B12. Um, and you will break out like a motherfucker <laughs> with with those supplements to be vitamins so you might want to take some vitamin d to keep your skin clear because i scarred the crap out of my skin with the b vitamins and vitamin d has been like the only thing to stop those breakouts so i take like 500 to a thousand um of it i i use a day you don't really need to go past that fish oil especially like cod liver oil has vitamin a d i don't take this every day um, I've heard this helps with like healing the nerves that got damaged, but I haven't really noticed anything. I'm taking, trying to use these B vitamin, um, patches. Haven't really noticed a difference on these either. Might return these. Um, I've even tried brain octane, octane oil. Um, I think I'm having issues with coconut. So this is made out of coconut. Not sure if it's really helping that much. I noticed that fish oil helps with inflammation. This, hard to say if it's really doing much. Um, 
And then I have like glycine, which helps the liver, and taurine, which also helps eyes and liver. I haven't noticed too much difference on those. I even got TMG. This helps me lower like homocysteine levels. No one really knows about trimethylglycine, but it does lower homocysteine, such as even creatine, B vitamins, like B6, B9, B12. I can't take B6, um, so I just take folate and B12. Seriously, like the ones that I really notice a difference on are vitamin D, iodine, B1, B12, B9. And now I'm just trying to figure out why I have such a hard issue with histamines and food related reactions. So that's what I'm taking. I'm trying to be on a low histamine diet, but trying to like eat as natural as possible. I don't know how to heal from this stuff because all the nerve damage here, it gets like it's better on the B vitamins, but it doesn't completely go away. So anytime I'm around chemicals like shampoo, can, deodorant, um, perfumes, the flare, the nerves that got damaged in my face will flare up and I don't know how to get that stuff to stop or go away completely. I just know how to keep it with B, at bay with the B vitamins because my foot will start to go numb if I don't have, um, all, all three of those B1, B9, and B12 in my system with other B vitamins. My foot will start to go numb on the right side that got damaged from the antibiotic. So, dude, I really don't know how to heal from this stuff. I'm just trying to make a video of what's kind of helped, but I'm not completely healed as I will still get heart palpitations if I don't take B1 and get dizzy if I don't take B9 and B12. So, I don't know how to completely heal from this stuff. It's such a bummer. I might do some, like, brain retraining, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. But this is just an update.